And a little bit hot out there today for <laughs> National Night Out, but at yes. least, I, Bill, I noticed that breeze helping keep yeah, a little breeze. more comfortable. Yeah, breeze uh, helps a little bit, but it's definitely a toasty uh, Tuesday evening across the area, so be prepared for that. Before we get to that forecast, allergy report, high symptoms now across the board uh, today and tomorrow for nettle, uh, weeds, and for mold spores, so uh, be prepared for that. Just a few clouds scattered about, 92 degrees the high today, 7 degrees above our average high of 85, not quite record territory, though. That's that's uh, 103 set in 1988 and no rainfall across the region today. 90 degrees currently, uh, 88 downtown at the station. There is that wind out of the south sustained at 20. Uh, look at that dew point number though, 73. So that's making it feel like 98. In fact, temperatures uh, are quite toasty all the way from the front range of the Rockies through the northern and central plains, 90s, even some triple digit heat over the central plains and 90 degrees in La Crosse, 94 up the river in the uh, Twin Cities, 89 in Eau Claire, 87 in Black River Falls and 83 in Viroqua. Dew points though in the 70s. So that puts us on the high end of the comfort scale, which isn't a good thing because that means it's feeling uh, oppressive to even slightly miserable uh, with that high uh, moisture content in the air, and it makes it feel like 98 in La Crosse, 96 in Eau Claire, triple digits right at 100 in Winona, 104 in the Twin Cities, feels like 106 over in Mankato. It's going to stay quite mild and muggy tonight, so keep that in mind. Probably a window shut night. If you have AC, uh, you'll need that. Uh, dew points in the lower to middle 70s. Again, a nice breeze at least out of the south, 10 to 20, gusting over 30 miles per hour uh, in some spots, including right here in La Crosse. Storm chances to this point have stayed well to our north, and uh, we'll watch a cold front kind of sink southeast into this uh, steamy uh, air mass and bring at least a slight chance for some storms overnight and into part of tomorrow. Now, Sky Tracker is quite impressed with the storm chances, especially north and east of La Crosse. I will caution you, there are other forecast models uh, that don't have uh, the storm chances nearly this widespread, so it's kind of a tricky call tonight. It all depends on if we can break what we call the cap. Yeah, it's hot here at the surface, but it's also warm aloft, and storms don't like to develop in that type of environment. So we'll see if that cap breaks uh, later tonight. Still a chance for some hit and miss storms into tomorrow, especially through about midday before that front slides to the south and east. And then Thursday is looking dry with uh, lots of sunshine and uh, lower humidity as well. Now, if those storms can fire, there is an outside chance for some strong to severe storms, especially in this level two area uh, north and east of Eau Claire. Local timing overnight, 10 p.m. to 4 a.m., uh, perhaps some hail and gusty winds, something I'll keep a close eye on for you uh, later tonight. Temperatures tomorrow, pretty toasty once again. Upper 80s, most spots between about 84 and 90 degrees, kind of depending on when the uh, cold front sweeps through your area. And again, that slight chance for some lingering storms through about lunchtime or so. So for tonight, very mild and muggy. That slight chance of storms, best chances north and east, 78 for the low. So not all that low. 89 tomorrow, still pretty warm and humid until that front sweeps through. Slight chance of storms. And then dry and uh, less humid. Thursday and Friday, highs in the 80s. Humidity returns for the weekend, as does a slight chance of storms, especially late Saturday, Saturday night, into part of Sunday now. And then Monday and Tuesday looking dry, uh, highs in the 80s. So uh, overall, uh, pretty typical numbers during the uh, first, uh, say, 10 days of August. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Bill. Okay.